Space discoveries have always been a surprise and a life-changing event. Every minor discovery has always been supported by science, and every circumstance has been reversed. After one such discovery, it has defied some of the discoveries by scientists. Let's check out that discovery. Welcome back to the Theory of Science. Have you ever thought of how scientists try to conclude after discovering something? Don't forget to subscribe or a black hole will come by and suck you in! Let's get into the video and know everything in detail. A gaping hole in the cosmos that extends beyond the conceptions of logic can be found at a distance of 330 million light years, even though our finite minds cannot fully fathom its magnitude. You may already be aware that space is filled with holes. What, therefore, draws scientists and enthusiasts to this specific hole? This is the Butte's Void. This uncomfortable creation is consistent with Nikolai Kardashev's 1962 theory of advanced alien civilizations and their behavior. They come into being due to mass collapse and subsequent implosions of subatomic particles. The size of the emptiness, according to astronomer Greg Aldering, is such that before the 1960s we would not have realized that there were other galaxies if the Milky Way had been in the center of the boots void. Since a galaxy moves faster, the distance of it from us due to how the universe is expanding and redshift can be used to calculate distance. This was being used by Kirshner and his team to build a 3D map of the cosmos. Something unusual emerged as the map filled in. A blank emptiness lay 700 million light years from Earth, which is 0.27% of the observable universe. There were hardly any galaxies in a roughly spherical area of around 330 million light years across, an area that the Milky Way would fit into billions of times. The boots void is quite empty, and which is even stranger. Initially known as the Great Nothing, the area later earned the name Boots Void because it appears to be in the constellation of Boots, the herdsman who pulls the plow around the northern pole. Part of the void near the edge comprises the Hercules supercluster. The Boots Void existence does not seem to conflict significantly with the Lambda CDM model of cosmic evolution. Similar to how soap bubbles combine to form more giant bubbles, it's been proposed that the Boots Void was created by a merger of smaller openings. This would explain the sparse population of galaxies found in a roughly tube-shaped region flowing through the center of the vacuum. The images of Bernard 68, a dark nebula that prevents light from passing through, have frequently been linked with the Boots Void. However, the images of Bernard 68 are much darker than those observed in the Boots Void because the nebula is much closer, has fewer stars in front of it, and has a physical mass that prevents light from passing through. The European Southern Observatory team has published two pages describing their examination of black globules, the B68 in particular. Surveys have since been able to provide more precise maps of our universe. Galaxies are arranged like a vast web, as we now know, in our universe. Most galaxies are situated in lengthy formations called filaments that wind throughout space. When these come together, they form clusters, which are areas with a lot of galaxies concentrated in them. However, there are vast empty spaces with scarcely any galaxies between these threads. Most of the voids are between 30 and 300 million light years extensive and make up about 80% of the visible universe. Boots is one of the biggest and is known as a supervoid. Boots is believed to be the result of smaller voids coming together. It is believed that the universe's beginning is what created these holes. The universe's substances were densely packed together in early moments of the cosmos. Minor variations in the distribution of matter were thought to have swiftly been formed by random quantum fluctuations from what was initially thought to be a homogeneous soup. Due to the universe's quickening expansion at the same time, these fluctuations, which began at the quantum level, eventually covered hundreds of millions of light years. Smaller clumps of matter started to organize themselves into galaxies in the meanwhile. Astronomers can acquire an insight into the early universe's appearance by analyzing these massive structures. Kirshner's maps may now be made in greater detail thanks to developments in telescope and image technology. One example is the Dark Energy Survey, which has mapped nearly a fourth of the southern sky while looking at some 300 million galaxies. The deep plunge into the boat's vacuum will reveal all other mysteries surrounding it, and technological advancement has shown that what we see today is very different from what was discovered back then. Many astronomers believe that these unsettling places that reveal the universe's raw fabric could signpost to the next major discovery. They are currently engaged in a boom of cataloging and mapping voids. But does that imply that these cosmic gaps are utterly devoid of light, dark matter, and any observable radiation? Large-scale under-dense areas are called voids, but they don't have any matter at all. They do occur, even though massive galaxies within them may be uncommon. Even in the deepest, most barren cosmic emptiness we've yet discovered, a sizable galaxy still occupies the center. Supercomputers can now produce in-depth models of how the universe evolved from the earlier seconds following the Big Bang gave rise to the modern universe. Astronomers can start to grasp how our universe got to look the way it does today by comparing these maps with the simulations. We may soon be able to quantify dark energy, gravity, and any unknown new force more accurately than ever before, thanks to statistical analysis of their shapes. They might even teach us to accept the emptiness in the process. Also. 
check out our other videos on our YouTube channel.